Hey guys, it's Victoria here. I'm back with another video. Um, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so. Um, today I'm going to talk about um, three, um, three pairs, AJ, uh, which is Audi, Ozzy Yen, um, Dollar Cad, and the Pound New Zealand, because those were like my favorite setups. Like the Aussie was at two peak formation. UCAD, again, well, actually, the trading day, as you can see, is already printing, right? So this has changed. So Wednesday, this was one peak formation high, okay? So one peak formation and two peak formations are my favorites. And even three peak formations, because sometimes, guys, you're not going to find a bona fide setup um, or, uh, <laughs> well, you will, you may not see the, um, at the two peak formation, you may not get the, um, safety trade right away. It might sometimes go into the third day of the peak formation high. So <clears throat> I'm just going to cover, you know, when you're going through, especially if you have this, this awesome trend algorithm here, the Gcash dash. It really helps kind of speed up things. And I wanted to write down, you know, the, the peak formations here so you can just get an idea, right? Um, so I just wrote this here. But the system automatically will update, okay? If price resets, it is going to update, okay? Um, as we know, we always look for resets around the 800, mostly around the 200, okay? Um, the indicator, um, plots the ADRs for me, which is very helpful. I don't have to draw the boxes or anything like that, but it is helpful to kind of learn um, the chart, right? It's very helpful to read price. That's what I want to say when you kind of write this here as you're learning, okay? So today or this past, it's still Wednesday for me though, right? <laughs> so today it was a peak formation high, okay? So once price drops, because it will always, whichever one it is, okay, we're looking at this peak formation, the zero peak formation happened on Tuesday, and we see that price dropped, okay, it is always going to pull back, right, so you wait for the pullback, right, if you want to take this after New York, you can, sometimes you get lucky, and sometimes you don't, right, so this pullback um, all the way till Asia close was about 20 some odd pips, not too bad, right, 27 pips, something like that before it started to um, give you this pin here. As you can even see, price printed you a nice M here, and this was your entry, right? It was right here. Uh oh, my dog is gonna start barking. <laughs> Sometimes she wants to join the conversation when she sees people outside. So anyway, see, look guys, you can see this clearly and you can see in the TDI um, that it was, also kind of giving you that um that m underneath the market baseline okay and then you see where this actually crossed and it went down it lines up right here now if you were awake and available for this trade then absolutely price has already um printed for you and you would have just taken that and my exit okay my exit is always going to be it's always going to be the, the Mayo, right? The 200. That would have been my exit right here for this trade. Okay. So that's about uh, 42 pips. That's not bad. So if you're available for this trade, then absolutely. This was right before market, the London market opened. If you came in, because um, I usually come in around... That's when I'm usually at the chart. I'm really working to come here at least an hour earlier, but it is painful, <laughs> okay? It is painful. So if that was me, if I came in here and I saw this um, on the hour chart, so I always tell you, check the hour chart first, right? You always wanna see where you're headed, what direction are you going in, check the hour. So when you come here to the chart at the hour, you've already seen these, these uh, stock funds to the high. Right, you have one, two, and three up here. Okay, you're looking at the TDI and you see that it is below the market baseline. 
Okay, so if you came to the market right here when London opened, this here is the London um, market open right here for that hour, then absolutely you would have been, you could have waited for this thing to fully develop. But after you see these, these stock plants up here, guys, I mean, that's a bona fide trade right there, right? So if you, if you can't see anything else, right? And you see this, and you see this down here with the TDI, then you should know that you should know where your direction is for the day, okay? So, and let's say you do wait anyway, you decide to wait for it, um, you'll see how the price pinned, right? It pinned the, the 13, and then right here, it pinned the 50. I mean, you're going down, right? So you could have also entered, if you wanted to wait for that, you could have entered that and then exited right here at the Mayo, the 200, which is still good, 33 pips. It's not bad at all, okay? So. Basically, what I'm saying is when you have, <clears throat> excuse me, when you have a one peak formation, um, this is like a safety trade. I mean, this is like a type two trade. It didn't really extend all the way. The stock hunt wasn't that far up, but you have your three hits to the high right here. Okay. Okay. You have your three hits to the high. You are looking at a stock hunt high and then drop. That's exactly what you're looking for here. Um, your zero peak formations, you're going to have this pullback. So just remember this pullback can happen. This, I think if this thing had dropped further, this pullback would have probably been a real deep one and you could have probably rode this thing um, nicely, right? But just be cautious and see whatever price is telling you um, is what you just, you just need to do. But so, oftentimes you will get a pullback, right? A bona fide counter trade at a one peak formation high. Right, instead of like this, look like a safety trade to me, right? Um, but Thursday, right, once the markets develop, we're gonna see what's gonna happen right here at the 200, right? Are we going to break this? Is price going to continue, right? Or are we gonna get a reset? So I'm gonna wait and see on that one, okay? Always be flexible around the 200, guys. Don't get so, um, hung up on oh it has to drop it has to drop it might not drop <laughs> right you might end up with a w off of the 200 and now the price reset and you're going long right so just be flexible with that all right so now let's go over to ucad now this is a trade i did take today okay all right so uh oh all right <laughs> So today, this was, I was looking at it because it was a one peak formation, right? It was an actual one peak formation. It's already changed to two, okay? Because the trading day has already changed it. And so usually at one peak formation, I'm looking for the pullback, right? So when I got to the chart today, it was consolidating, okay? It was just consolidating, doing a whole lot of nothing, right? So I literally just waited for this one to make its move, right? And as you can see, even in during the consolidation, guys, you can see how price stayed above the 50, 50. And look, you can see that it also stayed above the 200. And we know that they act as support. And if you look at the TDI, okay, look at the TDI here, you can also see how um, price is bouncing off of the, uh, the market baseline and continuing on up. So once I noticed this thing was safe, if you will, right, to go ahead and take, I went ahead and took the trade, okay? Went ahead and took the trade. So I was around today, I think I remember, I have to look at my notes. You know, this is London here, okay? So I came around the market around here. And I took this trade. Now, check this out. So this has no um, no EMAs for me to use as my guide, right? So what I would do, I would come here and um, draw my zone where I'm going to take profit. Obviously, this one using this one is a little. You can put still put it on your chart if you want to to manage your trade. I mean, it's not that much based on when I got there because it's right in New York, right? Um, and here's another good area right here. We have support and resistance. 
It's another good area to take your, your trade. Okay. So you can manage your um, you can manage your trade by drawing your zones to know where you're going to get out once you're in. You can use your EMAs um, or you can go based on the pip value, right? So I believe I came in. Oh, now that I made this a little bit bigger, you can actually see. So right here, this is London, the market open. Okay, you come in here, it's consolidating. You're like, and you can even see that this is a W right here. It, actually, you didn't, you can't see this yet, right? You can't see that yet. Um, but what you can see is price above the 50 and you can see clearly right, that it is above the market baseline, okay? And if you wanna wait, you can wait for it to clear the 200 and then make your entry right here, okay? You can totally do that too, to be safe, right? But look here, <clears throat> right here where it did this little, you know, this little hook right there, that's your second leg right there. So that, that would have been your entry. From there all the way, you could have, again, Taking this to New York, right here is about 53 pips. Okay, if you if this was your area of target, right here is 80, about 80 pips. So not bad, right? And again, guys, this was a one peak formation. So typically I was looking for a pullback, right? But again, this actually gave me like a safety type of a trade instead of a pullback. So tomorrow I'm going to wait and see. Right, what is price going to do? I mean, right now the TDI is at the high. It looks like it may drop. Okay, right now it looks like um, it's at the, what is that, the 70? Okay, right here. This could be the first leg, right? Um, I'm going to wait till markets develop a little bit more before I go the deep dive into the 15 minute and the five minute chart because you can, chances are you're probably going to see the, um, the peak formation indicator or and then the beast. And those usually when you see that, um, that's typically your first leg, right? <clears throat> then you always wanna take the second leg. So I'm gonna wait to see what happens here. We might get that pullback tomorrow. And then you can see here now the EMAs are crossing the 50 and the 200. Um, we may get a pullback during Asia and then London, it might shoot up, I don't know. But we're gonna wait and see what's gonna happen. But if it gives me a safety trade, I'll take it. If it pulls back, and, and I'm available for it, I'll take it, but hopefully it will do what I need it to do and I can go along again tomorrow. Okay, so I'm gonna look at one more because um, the pound New Zealand is an actual one peak formation low, okay? So today, I did not take this trade. I wasn't, it wasn't really, it was on my radar because it was actually a zero peak formation, but I believe when I got here, I looked at it and I was like, okay, I passed on it because at the time I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention to it that much, but this was actually a pretty decent trade to go along today. Why? Because we had three taps to the low. Okay. You had your first tap here and then right here in Asia and your third tap. So we know that three taps to the higher low, you take that, you take that third tap. It's always going to pay off, right? It's always going to pay off. Okay, so you could have entered, um, this looks like to me, like a nice little railroad. I know it's not all even and all, but that's what it looks like to me. Okay, so you could have entered right here. Okay, or you could have, um, you could have waited for this thing to literally clear, right? But always know that this thing, it ain't going, it's not going to take this other lows out. It's just not. Sometimes it goes back to try to take it out, to fake you out, and it's not, okay? And why should you believe me? Because the TDI said so, okay? Look at this. You got your first leg, your second leg. Boom, take it, okay? If you wanna wait till the, um, you wanna wait for it, right, to cross over. You can take it from here too. Got a nice little stop hunt right there and you can just take that trade, okay? Okay, so with that being your entry, okay, where would we exit, right? 
that's my entry, where would I exit? I see really clearly, remember I just said, if I don't see EMAs as a guide to exit, then I'm gonna go look left and I'm gonna see where price points was and now we'll draw the zone for that. But because this EMA is there nicely in front of my face for me, that would be my exit right here. And it pinned it right there at New York, okay? Entry, exit, 78 pips. Dang, I was asleep on that one. <laughs> so that's all I have to share for today, guys. All right, if you wanna get your hands on this Gcash Dash, it's gonna be in the comments. I love this thing. It helps me to quickly um, go through the trades that I wanna take for that day. Um, I do love the two peak formations, three peak formations. I love the zeros and the ones, right? And then of course, once price starts, when these things start to turn blue, then I write them down in my journal because those are the ones that are going to start, they're gonna reverse, okay? So now I'm looking for them to reverse and looking to get in on that as well. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, okay? Share, <laughs> all right? Show me some love. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.